What's up guys and welcome to a new video. I'm a little late, I've been trying to post regularly on Mondays, but we've been working on a special project, life project. I'll give you more news about that eventually when things actually start shaping up. Today's vlog is going to be talking about 5 things I wish I knew before I started to lift. The first thing I wish I knew before starting to work out is that fitness is a journey. I've been working out for probably close to 10 years, uh, on and off, and my goal initially was always to get bigger, bigger, bigger. And you know what? That only happened in the last like three or four years. I'm 27 now, so I would have started at like 17. When I got started, I was really into it and I didn't have a lot of knowledge, which is why I didn't see a lot of results and I was expecting to get somewhere and oh, that would be it, I'd be fit and it would just be easy to stay there. But really, you don't ever arrive. There's gonna be dips and dives in your journey. You're gonna be fitter at some points, not so fit in other points. Like right now, we're working on a special project at home and I haven't been able to work out this week. We've gone on walks, but it's just not the same. Plus, you add the pandemic and working out from home, not having access to bench press, etc. Come on, I mean, like, you can't expect to stay as fit as you were when you were going to the gym. The second thing I wish I knew before starting to work out is that working out for other people won't make me happy and won't help me grow and become fitter because I'm always going to be chasing other people's dreams for me. So if you're starting to work out because people are telling you that you need to lose weight, well, maybe it is true, but you need to be doing it for you and not losing weight just because other people are telling you to. Same thing for if you were too skinny. If people are telling you you need to gain weight, you need to get bigger, okay, maybe true, but that depends on your goals and that depends on your motivation. They're not gonna be in the gym working out for you, you are. So you need to find something that'll make you happy and healthy. The third thing I wish I knew before starting to work out is that habits matter more than motivation. Motivation comes and goes. Obviously, there's motivation where I'm doing this because uh, I work out because I wanna be healthy. Now, that is always gonna stay, but I'm talking about motivation that specific day where you don't feel like working out, even though you still wanna be healthy. What's gonna keep you going is the habit that you built throughout your journey of saying, I'm gonna go for a walk every day, I'm gonna do squats every day. The same way that you brush your teeth every day, you don't brush your teeth every single day because you're motivated. You do it out of habit. The fourth thing I wish I knew before I started lifting is that you don't have to do what's trending. You should do what you like. The Instagram popular workouts, the YouTube popular workouts, you don't need to follow that. You don't need to follow what your friends are doing. You can do what you want to. If you like to go for hikes, go for hikes. Throughout my journey, I learned about cross training and CrossFit and was super interested in CrossFit. Did a course uh, about CrossFit, which kind of was not really CrossFit, but was. It was at a CrossFit gym given by a CrossFit coach, but he wasn't giving you the certificate, whatever. I really liked the content, but the, the community around it was a little too intense for me. So I kind of took a step back and continued to enjoy CrossFit and watching their content and their competitions, etc but didn't really go into a gym. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna wanna go, but that seems, that was the trendy thing around me at that time, and I didn't really like it. So I went more to cross training, which kind of is CrossFit. You can watch a video that I'll link up right there, or there, I'm not too sure, uh, about my CrossFit cross training dilemma, definition, version, whatever. At the end of the day, you need to work out for you and not for what other people are doing. The fifth and last thing that I wish I knew before starting to work out, which I kind of knew but tend and tended not to believe, is that some people are just genetically better, if you want to say, but really they're just different. I can't be the rock if my body is like DJ Qualls. Look it up. To summarize, what I really wish I knew before starting to work out is that it's going to be a difficult challenge and it's never going to end. I'm always going to have to try to get better, to push myself a little harder. It doesn't mean I'm actually going to become stronger and that much fitter because there's going to be periods where it's going to be more difficult to do. You're going to get married, you're going to have kids, you're going to buy a house. All those things have stresses, you might change jobs, 
But the goal is just to keep going, to stay healthy, to stay fit. If you find value in this video, leave a comment, click the like button, or subscribe. And or subscribe. Yeah, this one was short, but there's more to come. See you guys in the next one. Making no sense. So what do you say?